Hey guys, how is how's everyone doing? Uh, just wanted to make a video on how to sync your uh, Cinematic Audio uh, LP16 and to other um, MIDI, let's say uh, outboards such as synthesizers and. Um, Basically, if you know by now, the Somatic is a really nice multi-track uh, player for uh, live bands or even uh, solo artists. And the only drawback is that even though it has MIDI ports, uh, you can't really send outboard a MIDI clock. So that's a really uh, big disadvantage for some artists but I found that there is a way that you can uh, sync your player with other synthesizers you just need uh, to sacrifice um, one channel uh, from your um, outputs the way that you do it is you basically need a third-party accessory that can translate um, MIDI clock into a sync single signal and the way that I have found that, that it can be done by a product name uh, um, RK440 which is a clock processor MIDI MIDI uh, merger splitter. Uh, it looks like this. Uh, I'll show you in a, in a second the product itself, and I'll explain the way that you hook everything up, and uh, I'll do a test to show you that it really uh, works. So let's begin. Uh, the first thing that you probably have is uh, your project. So. If you look at my project, I have uh, 15 tracks, and if we'll just uh, hear it for a second, uh, the tempo is uh, 120 in this example, but it works with every tempo. Um, what I'm going to do now is open uh, an audio track, and. Um, what I'm going to do is, uh, let's see, uh, da, 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 da. okay, so I opened uh, a new track, audio track, mono track, I'll call it sync, sync, signal. Now, um, let me open my phone camera and I'll show you how I hooked everything up. This is the, the little gizmo. What it basically does, the, um, the computer, uh, the computer's interface, MIDI interface, is coming in to this, uh, to this gizmo, which outputs um, the signal which is synced with the DAW. Now, this is an audio signal which I'm then um, hooking back into the system, into the interface, and you can see already that it pulses, and I'll just let you hear it. Just a sec. Okay, so if I'll if I'll let you hear the the signal. Yeah, it's not a pleasant one, but um, now we're going to record it. Doesn't matter where you start, just as long as you're going to overlap the start of the um, session. So I'm just going to uh, mute it, and I'm going to record it. So let's do it. I can mute. So you can see that it does the work. I'm going to jump uh, to the end of it.
we have the sig single sync signal and it's very important once you recorded it to bounce it so like so that it starts right from the beginning so i'm going to bounce it now i'm going to uh, move it to my uh, library i'm just going to um, bounce everything let's go and export everything uh, da -da 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 -da. let's make a new folder call it the name of the song da -da 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 -da. Now, after we set the folder, I am going to uh, keep it in mono, uh, 44. If you need, you can do 48, but I found that for me, I, it's totally acceptable. 24 bit, uh, and I'm going to set my um, tracks. I'm gonna do all the audio channels. And I'll export it. The thumb drive. Okay, so I'm not using the proprietary uh, Semantic Audio U tool, I'm doing this uh, manually recording, and I'll go to my uh, library where I uh, saved everything. Okay, so... Uh, da -da -da -da. I'm going to name... Now this is a little, little, this is a little time consuming. I'm sure that there are ways to make this a lot easier. Um, I'm just going to do this real quickly. And lastly, your sync signal. All right, so let's take this session and copy it to the thumb drive now um, now I'm going to take out the um, RK004 and I'm going to connect it let's put this out of the way Let's firstly um, unhook uh, the USB. Put it back to the LP. Don't forget to power it on. Now, I'm going to take... Okay, so... Um, I, I'm powering powering this and we decided that the sync signal is going to be on channel 16 and I'm going to power the somatic let me try and show you a better view okay so after the, the LP does its thing that it tested, I'm going to uh, to select a song. Now, I have a Prophet Rev 2. I'm going to connect the 004. Now, you'll see that just a sec. I'm 
going to hook it this the LP to the in which translated to a MIDI and you'll see that once I hit play you'll see the light start flashing right here now to show that it works I'll just pause it and you'll see right here it's a little bit hard to see but once I hit play you can see that the tempo is here okay and that's basically it let's choose another one which has which has another uh, um, different BPM 65 Let's choose another one. And you can see that it receives the MIDI clock. So to to recap uh, again, you use your DW to send out the MIDI clock to a device that can translate MIDI clock into sync, sync signal and you you have to record that signal into a wave and uh, don't forget to export everything um, from the beginning of your song so it will be in sync then transfer th those files to your LP and then use that same uh, device but uh, changing the um, the port that it can receive that wave and translate it back to a MIDI clock. So that's pre pretty much it. Uh, hope I was helpful and uh, if you have any question hit me up and I'll try to uh, answer your question. Uh, if you like this video, uh, hit that like button and even subscribe. That will really encourage me to do more con uh, content. And that's it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.